Hello there. This is a week or a video. If you can't find your target, this is what you're going to see. So I have my sigils bound to on place. So that's what they're going to do now. Yes. Good. I like it. Alright. So this is how you do it. And I got this power aura. But I'm not going to tell you how to do that one. So. The cursor one. I just need a cursor. It is... If you make a new aura... It will be the one... That is, I think, texture. Yeah, texture settings. Go here, that's the color of the aura. The alpha, 100%. I put glow on there because otherwise it just looks solid all the time. You can't see through it. So glow makes it a little more translucent. And anchor 75, 75. That's the size 75 by 75 wide. Alright, everything here looks good. You go to the trigger. Trigger is important. Put it on aura. Put it on player. And put it on buff. And I think all these settings are default. I didn't touch any of them. You should be fine. Condition, nothing. Actions. Nothing as well. The animation, I added stuff. I put presets on all types. And then preset. This is all preference, opinion, whatever you want to call it. So I did shrink as the initialize in combat. So it'll shrink onto the target. Pulse. Just lets me have a visual. That's what it's doing right now. It's pulsing. So if I change that to flash, that's what it'll look like all the time on your screen in combat. Bounce. You don't want that. And so pulse just feels like a good thing to have. And preset doesn't really matter what you put here because it's out of combat. It'll, it'll just get off your screen this way. I just put it on shrink. And load all the way at the top. Just check the in combat, or you can leave it off and it'll be on all the time. That's pretty much it for that aura. So I hope that helps you. It's really fun to use. As you can see, I got my sigil right here, I got my fear right here. On use macros. Never get lost with the cursor ever again. Thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and life.